guys, I got my Ipsy Plus. The same day as I got my Jeffree Star Premium and my second Deluxe. But y'all already seen a Deluxe. So I'm uploading the Premium. Do we need this? We might need this. I don't freaking know. Um, and then I'm going to upload the Ipsy Plus. Who gets it? It's $25 a month. I do more eye looks and tutorials than I do anything. But I do get a few unboxings. Yeah, that was like really not even sealed at all, Ipsy. Okay, I see some repeat stuff in here. I think it's cool. Here it is. 25 bucks a month. Mine comes out to 27. And the Lovecraft Beauty Blush Palette. I think I got the contour one last time. Ooh, it's already coming out of the box. Let me show you. <gasps> okay. El Theta. Dufine and Ascalia. I don't know if I said those names right, but that is what they look like. I'll take the plastic off for a second. No, it's already, it's sealed. So, sorry guys, but I'm probably not going to keep it because I have like tons of this stuff. So, giveaway at some point. I got a blush palette by Lovecraft. Oh, look at the card. What does it say? What is the word? Feel the love. Can you feel the love? I did do a tutorial on this look today. So, if it's something that you are interested in, definitely keep an eye out for that video. Alright, why? Why am I having issues with this stupid card? Isn't there a card that tells you the value of everything? Why did I not get one? Did anyone else that have already gotten their Ipsy Plus not get a card? Or am I the only re- Not? Come on! Okay. This is the card I got! I want to give for Valentine's Day, feel the love, is all it says. I showed you the low clap, beauty, whatever. Now, Wander. Ooh, I got a foundation in here. Get out. Like, I don't really like Wander Beauty, though. Do you think this is going to, it's taped. Do you think this is going to work for me? Did you all get Wander Beauty stuff? Hang on. I'm scared, because I'm very picky with foundations. Who else? Just be honest. Put it in the comments because <laughs> I want to know. I'm super picky. And I've tried drugstore recently when I don't usually use it. Ugh. All right. It smells okay. It's got a, apparently it has a thing to it. And my skin's so light it might work for me. But at the same time, I'm super afraid. Have you tried this foundation? Please put it down below before I decide to open it and try it. If you like it and love it, let me know because I very well may send it to you. All right, so I got the foundation and the blush palette, and then I got, what else? Soft Velvet Lipstick. Who is this by? There's, it's Touch and Soul, and there's more Chinese writing. I'm getting, like, really super concerned. Is anyone else getting super concerned about all of their products being from China that have Chinese writing on them? I don't know. It, it super scares me. It did years ago when I realized that China actually made fake makeup that had urine and feces in it. Yes, if you don't know about that and you want to know, there's a lot of things you can look up. I've even got a video from a long time ago, probably almost a year ago, in regards to what's in some makeup from China. And then also there's the new documentary that is called Broken that Marlena Stell from Makeup Geek is in. It's the same information that I found a few years ago and I found it really enlightening. You might want to watch that. Anyhow, let's see what this is. Touch and Soul have never seen Chinese writing on their products before. So this is the packaging. Pretty filter. Soul Velvet Lipstick. It's cute. It feels good. Is this going to focus? Please focus. There we go. Okay. Ooh. I'm not a pinky kind of person though. So this not going to work for me. It will be in a giveaway. Stay tuned. Yeah, no, 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 no. What else do we have? All right, moving on. I thought the bag was supposed to be cute this month. I, I'm not saying it's, I mean, it's cute. It's a bag. It is what it is. Probably, I think, all this stuff. Well, no, it's not going to fit in here, but it does have the FC logo in it. 
and you could totally these are the ones that you want to throw things in when you're going to go out and you need to take stuff with you and you don't want to mess up your purse definitely okay so the next thing oh murad is a good company and il miage oh no. let's go with one thing at a time essential c day moisturizer broad spectrum spf 30 it says it brightens and helps Shield skin from environmental aggressors. Okay, that's great. I'm all for moisturizers, but I'm going to be honest with you and tell you, Murad is a great company. I'm not saying anything against this, but you do not want to wear this moisturizer because it has an SPF underneath your foundation. Because when you take pictures, you ever notice that when you take pictures, they come out like shit? It's because you have flashback, and that comes from products that have SPF in them. Just letting you know in advance moisturizer use it at night use it during the day protect your skin by all means but not before foundation next and that's the end of the box this is however you want to pronounce that okay okay is this another eyeliner because i've gotten like eight thousand of them not that i mind it i love black eyeliners you can always use them yeah it so is okay so black it's good for six months, so I can't even, like, open it and breathe on it. Okay, there it is. I've got tons of black eyeliner. That's the tip. you got to be careful. Do you remember in the last video I showed you that applying your eyeliner is so important? The tip is so important. you got to be careful with how you do it because if you were to apply this eyeliner a certain way, you're going to get the way that the tip is. Like, look at my last video. You're going to, where's one so I don't have to mess with this one in case I want to send it to one of you? Let me just show you what I mean by this. Hang on, as I throw everything on the floor. Um, is this one? This one's similar, but it's not as big. But if you apply your eyeliner, like, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to have to be careful because it's going to do that. That's all I'm saying. If you want to do a wing or a straight application, and there's a lot of you that commented on my last video saying, Karen, I have trouble with eyeliner. Start out with a pencil. And in my new tutorial where I did this look, you can I give you a little bit of tips on that as well. So that was what was in the Ipsy Plus. Just to recap, it's $25 a month. You get a bag. And this is actually the bag that goes in the glam bag. It's not even like a real plus bag. This is like the original glam bag. I'm just realizing that now. And you know I'm going to be honest with you guys. Do I have another plus? The plus ones are way bigger. And this is not bigger. So this, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what they're doing. We got the lipstick. And I don't have a card to tell you the values. So did anyone else go through that this month with the plus? Lipstick. The foundation. The blush palette and the moisturizer and of course I already told you about the eyeliner so those are the products that we got in glam plus with the regular ipsy glam bag instead of a plus bag what's going on with ipsy am I missing something guys because y'all know I love me a good box a good opening all that stuff but this is a this is a small bag this is not a plus bag and I'm a little confused so let me know down below I do thank you for joining me for opening this box I appreciate it so very much do you have any thoughts questions concerns something I can answer something that I miss that maybe you want to tell me because I'm totally open to that and I appreciate it and yes I did just open my premium Valentine's mystery box so look for that video as well and I love you very 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 much and I'll see you in my next video